Hello everyone, and welcome to Deserted. This is the story of Dune Lord, an ultimate Iron Man restricted to the Caridian Desert and looking to take advantage of everything that it has to offer. With the announcement of the Tombs of Amasket, I realized this account was destined for something. To be able to defeat the enemies that lie within this new raid, all without trading, banking, or leaving the desert. Let's get into it. In the last episode, we started the first steps towards being able to fight the Calphite Queen, which involved over 40 hours of Temporos to get the crafting level to make a Ring of Wealth. We even got a nice little book along the way. Now that we have the Ring of Wealth, we can technically start killing Scarabites and hope to get the Dragon Spear, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We've made a lot of progress on this account so far, but there's one area where we've been lacking when it comes to our skills, and no, I'm not talking about our Slayer level. At the moment, Dune Lord is only level 72 combat, which is nowhere near high enough to face the challenges that lie ahead. We've mostly been killing Hill Giants and Alcarid Warriors to train our combat stats on the account so far, and the next step up from that is Scarabites and Desert Bandits. The plan is to train our melee stats up a bit higher so that we can leave Hill Giants behind for good and move on to better training methods. Now there's some things that need to be done before this, however. If you know anything about Desert Bandits, you know that if you equip a Zamorak or Ceridoman item near them, they'll be forever aggressive towards you, making them incredibly AFK. Unfortunately, getting a Zamorak or Ceridoman item in the desert is pretty hard to do. The only ways to get one is from Clue Caskets or from Lucky Implings. And seeing as how neither Scarabites nor Bandits drop Clue Scrolls, this seems like the perfect time to do a huge Clue grind on Hill Giants. Some of you may remember the second video of the series where I did a beginner clue grind by just killing men around Al Karid in order to hopefully get a staff of air. Well, we've come a long way since then, and I think we're ready to get our revenge on that grind. Since this will likely be the last clue grind I do on this account, I want to make sure that I have everything I need for them before I move on. That being said, the goal for today's video is not only a Zamorak or Ceridoman item, but also the staff of air. Seeing as how the staff is going to be on my Raids 3 checklist, it just makes sense to go for it now. So here's how the clue scroll process is going to work. I'm going to kill hill giants who have a 1 in 50 chance of dropping a beginner clue scroll. Out of all the possible clue steps that you can get from a beginner clue scroll, only 3 or technically 4 steps are in the desert. There's panic at the Alcarid mine, talk to shanty, talk to the owner of the skirt shop, and the reldo step which has a 1 in 5 chance of being in the desert. We just wait until we get an Alcarid clue step and then we drop it on the floor to juggle it. The way clues work is that you're only supposed to have one at a time, so if we drop it on the floor and occasionally pick it up and redrop it to make sure that it doesn't despawn, the game doesn't register us as having a clue scroll, so it allows the hill giants to drop us another one. Clue scrolls also work as a collective, so if I have three on the floor, all with desert steps on them, that's the same thing as having one clue scroll with three desert steps on it, which is a 100% chance of getting a beginner casket. I'm essentially going to do this process until I have three desert steps juggled and then go for the caskets, over and over again until I have a god item and a staff of air. From beginner clue caskets, there's a total of four usable god items that I can receive. There's either piece of the trimmed monk robe set, and either the Zamorak or Ceridoman rune scimitar ornament kits. Each one of those is a 1 in 360 chance to get, and the staff of air is a 1 in 45 chance to get, so this could potentially take a very long time. I also have the chance of getting an item from Lucky Implings to help speed up the process, but still, this could take weeks or even months, potentially killing thousands or tens of thousands of hill giants. This could take so long that I... Oh my god, dude, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that's so good, dude. Okay, so that changes things. I ended up getting an Unholy Blessing, which is a Zamorakian item from the first Lucky Impling of the video. This means that I can officially AFK at Desert Bandits after I get my combat level up a little bit more, but it also begs the question, what is the new goal for the video now that the god item has been obtained? Well, I guess there is none, so see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're still going to go through with the same goals as before, we just checked the god item off of our list a little early. I'm still going to do the hill giant beginner clue grind, still going to go for the staff of air, and still going to get my melee stats up to at least base 60s and hopefully higher. Before I got into the hill giant killing though, I did need to boost up my defensive stats a little bit. I got my cape in the last video, which provides some slight defensive bonuses, and then I picked up the leather boots that spawned in Al Karid, and I enlisted the help of my clan chat for help finding magpie and eclectic implings. Magpies drop a rune square shield. I had one in the last video, but alked it because I needed the space, and now I want it back. 
Eclectic Implings drop Red Spiky Vambraces, which along with having some nice defensive bonuses, also have a plus two melee strength bonus, which makes them sort of like a budget combat bracelet. I thought that the Vambraces would take a long time to get from Eclectics as they're one in a hundred, but ended up getting those in about half an hour. We ended up having a hard time finding Magpie Implings and it took about three days of scouting to get my Rune's Gray Shield back. But now that our melee setup was complete, it was finally time to start killing Hill Giants. So let's hope we can get lucky with the Desert Steps. Headed back up to the Hill Giants, getting ready to start the beginner clue grind. I'm hoping that this armor and the defense bonuses will be good enough to where I don't have to eat a lot of food. But either way, I got some food right here and I can just unnote more pies as I need them. And we'll see. But hopefully they don't do much damage. We're going to start by training strength and going up to, I think we're going to go to 60 strength and then get 60 attack. And then we'll just kind of go from there. So let's get it started. We got a lucky impling over here. No run energy is the worst. Six Renar weeds. Okay, I'll take that. That's that's a few prayer potions right there. Not bad at all. All right, so what I've been doing is killing the hill giants until my inventory is full of supplies like this. And then I use the ring of dueling to teleport to the duel arena. And that's why I'm keeping this big stack of emerald rings here because I can just come over here to note everything on the tool leprechaun. Yeah, it saves on run energy, so I can pretty much do this grind a lot faster while I'm going through these rings. And when I'm all out of charges, like I am right there, I just got to unnote one more and then go over here and buy enchantment rooms from Ellie Morris saying, and we can make another ring. So pretty easy. All right. It took 425 hill giants, but I finally got a beginner clue scroll. That's a desert step. So what I'm going to do is try and juggle this one as much as I can and I'm gonna try and juggle them until I have three but if I have two at the end of the night and I feel like going to bed I'm just gonna go through the two and hopefully get a casket by then so I hope that <laughs> I don't accidentally let this despawn because it took a while to get it and one more lucky impling seven runite ores okay <laughs> I just got another beginner clue scroll and it's a Reldo step, which means there's a one in five chance that this could be a desert step. So I'm going to also juggle this one around and hopefully we can get lucky on that one. All right. So I think I'm done for the night. So I'm going to show you how I get rid of stacked clues here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to teleport down to the dual arena and drop it here and then hurry back and grab the other one. Okay, and now I juggle them to make sure that I reset the drop timers on them. And what I'm going to do first is take the Reldo step, and I'm going to go check and see if this is a desert step or not. Because if it's not, then I'm just going to hold on to this one confirmed desert step that I have and save it for tomorrow. All right, let's dig and see what we get. Nothing, okay. <laughs> well, that looks like this is going to be... This one's a drop, and I'm just going to save the confirmed desert step for tomorrow. And we'll see if we can get a couple stacked up tomorrow. And here we go. We're starting up a brand new day of clue juggling. We also just got 55 prayer, which is pretty dang cool. I'm burying all the big bones that I get from these hill giants, so we should be getting a, you know, a couple of prayer levels during this episode. Oh, it finally happened. It took over 300 kills, but we finally got another Alcared step. That's a total of two now. Our odds of having a casket between both of these is pretty high, but just to be sure, I'm going to try and stack a third one. Worst comes to worst, we could just go for these two and realistically probably get a casket. So I'm going to see if I can get a third one because it's still pretty early on in the day. And I think we have a good shot of getting a third before the day is up. Yo, this is it. We got th our third <laughs> desert beginner clue step. Never in my life have I had three at once. We got shanty. We got shanty. <laughs> And we got Panic at the al Karid Mine. This is awesome. All right, so we have brought all of our clue scrolls over to Shanty Pass. And now we're gonna go through the two Shanty steps. So, let's see. New clue, is this a back-to-back? -back? Oh, it's a strange device step, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll juggle this one as well. And as you can see, if I check the steps here, then it says we already have one step completed because we're juggling clues. Well done. Another clue. Oh my god. Well, then it's good. We got three steps because it's a it's actually a three step beginner. So we're going to juggle all these, take them over to the mine, and then we're going to get our casket. All right. <laughs> Let's see the first casket in the episode. There it is. We did it. We juggled three 
desert steps to get this casket. All right, we're gonna open up this beginner casket now. Can we get a Staff of Air or a Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit? A Staff of Water? Oh my god, the one staff that I didn't want. Because <laughs> I already have the Tome of Water. Oh well. That's still kind of cool, I guess. Water Wizard. All right, time to do the whole process over again. Back to Hill Giants. All right, so I think I missed it by like a couple seconds, maybe like one kill, but I didn't realize I hit 60 strength. Um, that's the point where I said I was gonna switch over to attack. So that's the next thing we're gonna do is, you know, get to 60 attack. All right, so I think this is like my first clue scroll since I got the casket and we already got a shanty step. I think that uh, the gods are blessing us right now, which may mean that since we're lucky with getting the desert steps, we're probably not gonna get lucky with the caskets, but we'll see. We will see. So I'm gonna start juggling this one and hopefully we can get a second desert step. All right, we got one more lucky impling here. What do we get from it? Come on, get back here. A rune ax, oh my God. Um, That's really good. That's <laughs> definitely my best ax that I can get. It's not storable or anything, so I might just have to keep this and just grind a ton of like wood cutting while I have it and maybe I'll alk it eventually, but that's really good to have. Unfortunately, it's an inventory space <laughs> that I'm gonna keep and I already am kind of low on inventory space, but I think that's worth keeping at least for now. Also, I think that um, what we're gonna end up doing is since we have this rune ax, there's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I think that this is a good a time as any to do it since we have a rune ax. The new quest that's coming out that gives access to raids three uh, it's called Beneath Cursed Sands, and it comes out early next year. But it has a 55, I think, fire making requirement. So we're going to need to get our fire making up. And as you can see, it's not very good. Um, so I think that having this rune axe will be the best time to go for the fire making level. So we're going to catch earth implings until we can get a fire talisman. Because there's a lot of dead trees inside of the fire altar area that we're going to use for getting our fire making up. So we're gonna put a pin in the hill giant grind for now until we have 55 fire making. We got one more lucky impling here. Let's see what we get from it. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna make this tiara into a fire tiara for a rune crafting level. We're at level seven now. And now I can wear this and have access to all these beautiful trees inside of the uh, fire altar area. There's quite a few of them so I can really chop as many as I want I'm gonna look like an absolute noob to all these lava rune crafters cutting these trees down but at the end of the day I don't care and this is how we're gonna be getting our logs until we uh, hit 35 fire making and then we can switch up to teak logs I just love how this thing of fire right here just looks like a jack-o-lantern face it's very appropriate since it is October now and this is the last log right here 35 fire making we can now burn teak logs which is where we're going to finish up getting level 55. so i've been looking at my inventory for god like half an hour trying to figure out what i should do my two choices are i can either go down to the teak trees and start going for 55 fire making or i can go back to the clue scroll grind um i really don't feel like doing teak trees with eight inventory spaces uh, since the teak trees are in areas where you're affected by the desert heat I'm gonna want like four water skins and I think that doing this with like four free inventory spaces is not gonna be optimal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to the clue scroll grind but since we got an easy clue scroll from uh, just some impling that I caught that's actually in the desert, I think we're gonna go kill all Korean warriors for a bit and hopefully we can get a desert step. And if we can get two easy clues stacked up then we're just gonna go for it there because this is just kind of taking up space. So we're gonna see what we can get. And then I will come back to the fire making later after this inventory is more, you know, cleared out. And in the middle of me killing some Alcred warriors, we got a lucky impling scout. So let's go check it out. 44 nature runes, not very good. Well, 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 we have gotten a second Alcred beginner clue step. That's pretty dang cool. Um, looks like we have to, oh. Oh, <laughs> interesting time for this to happen. Thank you very much for that, dude, appreciate it. Yeah, now we have uh, two beginner clues to balance, to juggle, and uh, the easy one. I actually got one. I actually got a second easy clue scroll in Alcarid. 
Can you believe it? Because I can't. So we're just going to go for the clues now. We have Panic at the Mine, Dig at the Mine, okay. And then Talk to Shanty and Talk to the Tanner. I guess we'll go for the easies first because the Tanner is like right here. So I'm just going to go talk to him real quick. Now, easy clues, um, they have two to four steps. So either we can get lucky and get a two-step easy clue, or we can get really lucky and get a desert step from one of these as a back-to-back. -back. So let's see. Not lucky there, okay. Let's go grab the other one and see if we can do a two-step easy casket. If we dig here and get a casket, that's our first ever easy casket on the account. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh my god, okay. So now the only way that we can solve this is if this is a desert step. Never lucky, man. Whatever. It's all good. The point of the episode wasn't to get easy clue scrolls. It was to get, or to get easy clue caskets. It was to get beginner clue caskets. So we're going to go see if we can solve these beginner clues. Panic at the Alcarid Mine. Luckily, we're already here. All right, let's see if we get it. Oh my god, we're not lucky tonight. Unless this is a desert step? Nope. Sad freaking day, man. All right, that's probably going to be it for the night. We're going to pick it up again starting at Hill Giants tomorrow. Hopefully we can be more lucky. Oh boy, I wasn't even going to record getting this attack level, but it ended up being 1250 total level, so here we are recording it. Uh, we can now enter 1250 total level worlds. I guess the only thing that that would really be useful for is if someone scouts a Lucky Impling in a 1250 total world. So just letting you guys know, if you f are scouting Lucky Implings for me, you can now search in 1250 worlds. And here we go. We just got 56 prayer. That's pretty cool. You love to see prayer levels when we're burying big bones for 15 XP a pop. So, And we got our desert step right there. Panic at the Alcarid Mine, a classic one. Uh, so what we're going to do is... Since we have these two Reldo steps, we're just going to dig into the the Reldo spot and see if any of these are a desert step or not. Sweet. So I brought all the clues over here, and now we're going to dig for both of these steps and see if we get any desert steps. This one is a drop. And this one is also <laughs> a drop. Oh, no. Oh, well, we're going to let those despawn, and then we're going to keep our confirmed desert step and then go back to... Seeing if we can get any more from the Hill Giants. We just hit level 60 attack, as you can see, which means we can now equip the Dragon Spear when we eventually get that. Defense is going to be the next one we're training. We got a genie over here. And I believe this lamp that he gives us is going to get us an Herblore level. There we go, level 42. We finally got another Desert Step. We got this one at Shanty Pass, and this one is the Panic at the Alcarid Mine. So we got two now. The past two beginner clues that we've been juggling have both been three steps. So I'm hoping that we can get a two-step one um, in the event that I have to, you know, go for a casket tonight with just these two if I can't get a third one. So we will see if we can get a third one, but otherwise I'm just going to go for two. And hopefully we'll get lucky. We'll see. All right, so I have these two clues that I got to juggle, but I also got a Lucky Impling shout out in a different world. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to juggle these and not lose them and still get the Lucky Impling. I think I'm going to take these to the Ring of Dueling teleport and then hop worlds that way. I think that should work out. So I just drop this one, pick this one up, and I guess I'll just hop worlds now. I'm not actually sure if I can come back to a world and pick a clue scroll up off the ground so we're just gonna have to see because i'd rather not i'd rather risk a clue scroll than not get a lucky impling i'm gonna have to grab this and just hop back to the other world and hope that the clue scroll hasn't despawned yet oh no come back he knows that i'm juggling clues right now Iowerth camp teleports oh boy i definitely can't use those <laughs> All right, I'm going to waste no time and just use the teleport to get back there. And hopefully it's still there. Oof. Okay, but can I pick it up? Yeah, we have both of them still. <laughs> Quick and painless. You love to see it. I guess I'll actually just try and solve these since I have them down here. I think I'm done for the night anyway. And uh, hopefully we can get lucky and get a two-step or one-step beginner clues casket. Uh, let's see what we can... Well, my entire day has been wasted up to this point, I guess. 
Literally, as I was juggling that clue, my client crashed and I came back into the world and the clue scrolls were gone, so... Very upsetting way to end the day. We'll never know if that would have been a clue casket or not. I'm done for the night, I guess. I'll pick it up in the morning. Oh my god, <laughs> what is this? What is this? A katana? <laughs> I've never even heard of this before. All right, so I'm definitely not gonna keep this because it is a, um, it's like a rare elite clue drop. So the treasure chest that I have will not store this and it's only worth 60K in the grand exchange. And I'm probably just gonna high alk it eventually just to get the money for it. But I do want to test it out before I get rid of it because you know what? I want to say that I at least swung it a few times. So we're gonna kill this guy with it. At least we got the collection log slot to say that we had it at some point, but here it is goes okay so once again we have a reldo step as well as this one we just got another alcarid step very powerful combo indeed and also since i'm recording this clip anyway shout out to i'm not randy he just came over and gifted me two bonds very nice of him i appreciate it all right so i just got a second reldo step so now i have a total of two of those and a confirmed desert step so i think this is probably going to be a good time to uh start juggling and see if i can get a desert step on either of the Reldo steps. You know the drill by now. All right, so we're gonna go for some Reldo steps here. A new clue, very good sign. <laughs> back to back Reldo. So it looks like we're going for a two step casket. We're just gonna panic at the mine and see if we get a casket. Come on, let's see a casket. Oh my god, we're so unlucky, man. What's with all these three-step caskets? Ugh. Back to Hill Giants. And here it is, 60 defense. We can now wear dragon items, such as a dragon medium helmet or a dragon chain body. <laughs> now that we have base 60s in our melee stats, we're going to go back to strength so we can get, you know, we can hit harder, have higher max hits, and... The higher your strength is, the faster your combats go. So now we're going to go up to 70 strength. A palm tree seed. Oh my god. Alright, so this is going to be the last hill giant that I kill in this session. I've been going for a very long time, and I've been going pretty dry with desert steps. Or, I've been going dry with clue scrolls in general today. But desert steps for sure. I know it looks like I have four clue scrolls lined up, but that's because three out of those four are Reldo steps. And we're not sure if those are desert steps or not. So we'll find out if we're lucky. I'm going to bring all four of these down to the Reldo spot and we'll go see what's up. All right, let's try these out. Okay, that one is a drop. That one is a desert step. Let's see. Oh my God, we got the back-to-back -back desert step. You know what that means? That means we got a confirmed casket. That is super exciting. Unless we can get the confirmed one right here. Let's see. Nope, not that one. So yeah, let's go panic in the mine a couple times. Hey, there's a casket right there. And you know what that means? Since we got the casket already, that means that we have a leftover desert step to carry into our next grind that we do. So let's open up this casket and hope we get a Staff of Air or a Scimitar ornament kit. Oh my god, that's such a... It's so terrible, man. Oh my god, dude. Sweet, so I am done with this session and I'm glad that we have this one to carry into the next grind. Let's see it. Another black pickaxe. Oh my god. <laughs> As if one wasn't good enough. Come on. Oh my god, what is this? A dragon halberd? Another day, another lucky impling. Let's see what we get. Come on. And I, uh, <laughs> another adamant pickaxe. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, I just woke up and we got a lucky impling scout. Always a good way to start the day. Um, <laughs> what in God's name is this? So we got two panic at the Alcarid mind steps and one Reldo step. So we're going to go juggle these and hope for a casket. Not lucky on the Reldo step, so we're going to go for a two-step casket. And panic in the mine. Oh my god, we got the one-step casket. Let's go, dude. Uh, that means we have the casket and a desert clue left over to juggle. 
All right, here we go. Pain, dude. <laughs> Pure pain. Just, just drop them. I don't even want to look at them. All right, so we now have two desert steps and a reldo step. So let's see if we can get a casket from these. I caught a ninja impling on the walk over here. That's why I'm wearing the toenail helmet. But uh, let's see what we get for this reldo step. Oh, we actually got a new clue. Um, that's a confirmed casket now. That's awesome. And there it is, boys. All right, so I haven't even opened up this casket yet, and we already got a lucky scout. So we're gonna go grab that first. All right, let's see what we get. So, oh, oh my god, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> we actually got a staff of air from the lucky. Oh my god, dude! What are the odds? What are the odds of getting it from the lucky? Oh. My that's crazy we were hoping to get it from the beginner casket and we actually got it from the lucky are you serious man oh my god i guess the only thing that we need for beginner caskets now is the scimitar ornament kit so we can store it in the house uh that'd be crazy if we got it here air runes they're mocking me oh my god this is <laughs> such a massive upgrade to the account the staff of air and the tome of water is literally like the items i'll be using for raids three and that's because if I have unlimited air runes and unlimited water runes, all I need is a stack of blood runes in my inventory, and we can use a powered up uh, version of water wave powered up from the Tome of Water. And that'll probably be our most efficient spell to use in the Tombs of a Masket, rather than getting like a Master Wand in a Mage's Book or something like that, which has higher uh, Mage bonuses. But I'll have to keep like more stacks of runes in my inventory, and that'll be less food I can bring. So I think this will be like the mage setup for raids three at least the staff and the book not the rest yeah this is amazing and i think that this is honestly a place where i can end the video but i'm gonna finish up 70 strength so i can go for 60 70 60 and i think that that'll be where i end the video so we're just gonna do a little bit more melee training and i think we'll be set and have stats good enough to afk at desert bandits for the shattered relics league without further ado i guess we're just gonna we'll get rid of this helmet this this helmet might have been good luck i think this was a good luck helmet all right so this big bone right here. When I bury it, that'll get me a prayer level up to level 59. And uh, I don't remember what level we started out with, but we're probably done with the hill giants uh, for, if not forever, for a really long time, because I don't plan on doing any clue scrolls for a while. So yeah, I just finished up that prayer level because we were close and they dropped the big bones, but we're going to go finish off 70 strength at the Alcarid Warriors, and then we're going to call it for the video. All right, so I know I said I was done with uh, beginner clues, but you know, these guys dropped them too, and so far we have three Rildo steps and a Desert step stacked up, and I think that juggling four is more than enough, so we're gonna go see if we can get another casket. Panic in the mind, talk to him, and we got another casket. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I guess there's nothing to milk, let's just open it up. A staff of water, okay, that's the second one in this video. Uh, this is all probably useless. Still cool, we're at eight beginner caskets on the Desert Locked account, which is pretty cool. Alking that staff of water reminded me to set the alk warning to 1 GP under my staff of air so I don't alk it by mistake, because that would be tragic. Alright, so I was in the middle of a fight and it skipped past the dialogue box, but we just hit 70 strength, so we now officially have uh, 60, 70, 60 on our melee stats, which I think is good enough to start moving our way up to the higher level uh, monsters in the desert, such as the bandits and the scarabites. And uh, we actually did get a little bit lucky and got one single desert step. But I think it's kind of funny because throughout this entire grind, the, I don't know, at least 5,000, maybe 6,000 hill giants that I killed and the three, 4,000 Alcurid Warriors that I killed over the course of this video, this is the first time we've ever gotten this beginner clue step. We're just hoping for the 10% chance as a one step casket. We'll see if we can get lucky right at the end of the video. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a drop, but um, yeah, this is where we're going to wrap it up. We made huge gains in this video. Um, I don't remember exactly what our stats were when we started out, but I'll put that on the screen right now. But we made it to 60 attack, 70 strength, 60 defense, 69 hit points, uh, 59 prayer. What else? I don't know. <laughs> 81 combat. We got the Staff of Air, we got this Rune Axe, which we're going to use in the next video. We got an enormous stack of Limpor Roots and Herbs, but we're going to take care of this also in the next video. And uh, Leagues 3 is coming up. Shattered Relics Leagues is coming up soon. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Um, so we're going to set ourselves up for AFKing Desert Bandits throughout that entire league, and we're going to take care of that in the next video. So thank you guys very much for watching.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time for another episode in the Desert Locked Ultimate Iron Man. See you guys later.